Hey, Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I'm sitting here contemplating one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. Let me show you this to you. I haven't worn this in a while. But this is a little black crystal. Can you see that? It's a little black crystal point. It's made of um, obsidian. And I love black crystals because they're traditionally ancient mystical stones of power. They connect to the ancient mother, the primordial goddess, to the, the inner doorways to the spirit world. But anyways, I like to wear every now and then my black crystal. And so today I'm wearing this and I'm celebrating a fascinating um, thing that I've received. You say, what you got, Sega Bob? Well, let me show you. Hold on just a second. I've been trying to clean it, but I keep smudging it up. Look what I got. Now, you've seen my little black crystal that I'm wearing, but I have the mother of all black crystals. Look at this. Is this amazing or what? Beautiful black crystal that I just got. Just arrived today. It came from China. I had to order it. Now, I have to be honest. I don't believe this is a natural grown crystal from a cave. I think it was lab grown. But it's a black, um, obsidian black crystal. And for those of you who are into the black crystal, you know, to find a black crystal this size, that's pretty rare and pretty mystical. So that's the mother of my little black crystal. <laughs> and so they are baby and mama together. <laughs> Anyways, you know, tonight is Saturday. By the way, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you're new here, we welcome you. And I hope that you'll hit subscribe and be with us. You know, every day I put out two videos. That's right. We put out a morning video, which is our psychic minute. And then we put out an afternoon video, which is usually our topic of the week. And today it's Saturday. And on Saturday, we always gather and hold a little seance. And so today I thought what we'd do is we'd do a scrying seance of the mystical black crystal. So why don't you pull up your chairs here? gather around. If you were at my home, as, as we would, I'd put you in a, a little circle and we'd open the channel and see what the spirit has. So we're going to open the channel with the black crystal here in just a minute. So pull up your chairs and join us. Stay with us. All right. So here we are. We're going to, we're going to open the door between the worlds, but I think what I want to do is bring down the light. So I have a more subdued lighting as we work with our mystical crystal. So let me just take down the lights here. All right, so here we are, and you can still see our mystical black crystal. So let's do a little invocation to open the portal, shall we? And we'll say mystical black crystal. Mother, Father, God, infinite intelligence, we invite you now to open the door between the worlds. We invite this crystal to serve as a portal between the worlds, and we invite any souls and spirits, guides and teachers to come that would help us. We thank you for your presence here tonight, so mote it be. And then what we're going to do is, I'm going to try to just hold this here. I'm going to just sit back and gaze into our crystal and see what comes. Wow, you know what's really fascinating is as I'm looking into the crystal here, it's literally like, it's like when we use the black mirror, it's starting to cloud over. It's like looking smoky, like there's smoke inside the crystal. And I think that's pretty fascinating. So the secret to scrying is you want to just relax and just go into it. So as we're looking into our mystical black crystal, we just want to let our gaze Soften and look within. Sometimes you'll hear sounds. And what's interesting is I'm hearing the rush of winds right now. As if it's like three-dimensional sound coming out of this. Is it sound three-dimensional? <laughs> it's stereoscopic, whatever. 
<laughs> I'm hearing sounds. The wind is shifting. I hear it like a drum. It's a dum 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 drum sound. Oh my gosh, I just saw a flash of light inside the crystal. And now I'm seeing what appear to be torches, like the hands holding torches rising. Like all I see are the hands kind of, but they're holding flames of torches. And the sky in the background looks kind of a gray and reddish colored. Hearing this, and oh, there's a man in front of me. He's just come in. He's a male. He's dressed in white robes. He has red flower garland around his neck, like a necklace made of flowers. He looks like a Hindu priest. He's just coming up. It's like he's seeing me now. And he says, he says, prepare. She is coming. She who is all powerful. She who is the great mother, the ancient mother, the dark mother. He says, prepare. Kali Ma is coming. Oh my gosh. I'm hearing all these people. It's like they're cheering. It's like a crowd. Is gathering. Let's just watch. Oh my gosh! It's like it looks like there's a uh, somebody set like a bonfire, like right in the middle of the scene here, and there are crowds around. But in the bonfire, there's like a bonfire with smoke rising. Oh my gosh! If somebody's chanting. I hear people like making offerings into the fire. Like they're throwing, it looks like ghee in it because it flames up and they're throwing flowers. and So it's like they're having a ritual fire. Oh my gosh. It's like literally an explosion in the middle, in the middle of the fire. Oh my gosh, and now I see it. Oh my gosh. Literally somebody's coming, emerging from the smoke in the middle of the fire. It's, oh my gosh. It's Kalima. I can see her. Oh my gosh, she's so powerful. <gasps> she's a little scary. She's so intense, but she's beautiful. If that makes sense. She's beautiful and terrifying. And everybody around on the circle around the fire is prostrating their heads to the ground. This is, I'm in the presence of the ancient mother. They hear her speaking now. And she says, I am Kali Ma. She said, those who love me need not fear me. I come for my protection of my devotees. I offer you my love, my protection, and my guidance. She said, there are those here who do not know of the ancient ways. Know that before time began, I was. I am the eternal mother of life, of birth, of birth, of life, of rebirth. She says, death appears, but is only a transitory thing, for life is what I am about. Some call me mother, of destruction, but I am truly the mother of life. When you see the night sky, it is my body expanded around your globe. The darkest of nights does not leave you alone to terror, but in the darkness of the night and when you think yourself alone, I am there. I am the darkness that envelops you. But rather than being a darkness of frightfulness, I am a darkness of love and comfort and rest. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. She's like literally her eyes are glowing like red fire. And she's so awesome. Like even though she's like so amazing, she's like tall and black and she has like a garland of snakes around her neck. She has bones around her, like a garland of skulls and red flowers. And her eyes are like flames of red. Her hair is wild, it's like disheveled, flowing free. 
And she said, yes, in the darkness, you can embrace life. Darkness does not mean death. It means renewal, regeneration, rest, and comfort and peace. I am the dark mother for all of the life that exists began in darkness. You yourself began your life in the womb, the womb of darkness. The cosmos began in my womb, the womb of darkness. Do not fear the darkness, for in it you are close to me, and I am close to you. Call on me, I am the great and ancient mother. My name is Kali. Kali is the name of blackness. It is the name of time. I am the eternal cycle. I am the beginning. I am the end. All of life comes from me. And to me all life will return. I am the eternal womb of life. I will be your protectress. I will be your mother. I am the queen, but I am one who loves. I only destroy evil, that which threatens my children. None can come against me and win. I have conquered de demons that are countless in score, and I will continue to fight that all of my children will come to know me and be free from those distractions which pull them away from their true selves. Know that you as my child are part of the cosmos, the eternal cosmos. You have incarnated so many times. And in each life, I bring my presence to you in one way or another. And if you fear that you shall not find me, simply walk among the stars of the night sky. The night sky is my body. The stars and the planets and the moons are my ornaments of jewelry. And they shine Look at the blackness behind the moon and the stars, and you shall see me. You may call me Kalima. Oh my gosh. She's like literally stepping. She's literally walking into the middle of the bonfire, but it's not like burning her. Ooh, the, the bonfire just like flared up. Like it's like, it's like her by eyes. It's so bright. And she's gone. And the priest is coming forth now, and the fire, it's like the fire is fading down to ashes. And he said, all that remains is the holy ash of our offering fire. Receive now the anointing of the sacred ash of the ancient mother. And he's literally coming up to me. He's literally like anointing my, my forehead here with the holy ash from the bonfire. Thank you, I receive that. He said, take the mother's words to heart. She is all of our great mother. I say, yes. And now the scene is starting to fade. And it's gone. All I see now is the crystal. Wow. That was pretty intense. <laughs> Wow, I, I am so amazed that I was actually able to get a vision through this crystal. As I said, I just got it today and I put it on my altar and anointed it and it's already bringing blessing into my life. Anyways, I think on Wednesday, we're going to talk more about the magic of the black crystal on Wiccan Wednesday. We're talking about more ways to work with the black crystal, so... If you're interested in the black crystal, join us for our Wednesday video as well. 
Well, guys, listen, I'm going to keep it short. It's Saturday night. Sega Bob just needs to unwind. I've had a really intense week. Now it's time just to unwind and relax. So I hope that, um, you know, I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful night. And I really thank you for being here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel because tomorrow night we're going to have a live broadcast, 7 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. We're going to have our Sunday night hangout where I'll be hanging out. We'll be singing, chatting. I'll do some live psychic readings. We'll have a lot of fun. So make sure to be here at Spirit Channel tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, uh, 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. For those of you in London, it will be midnight London time, 1 a.m. Paris time. So I hope that you'll uh, you'll join us for that. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun. So thanks for being here. I'm going to sit back and just meditate a little more on the black crystal tonight. And look at my black crystal that I'm wearing. All right, guys, listen, we'll see you back here tomorrow. I love you. Thanks for being here. Oh, by the way, if you haven't done so, make sure to check out my psychic minute video i posted it this morning and uh, it was about um, you know uh, what what we do in the spirit world so check that out be back here tomorrow tomorrow morning i'm going to post another psychic minute video so you don't want to miss it we'll see you back here tomorrow until then may all of you always blessed be <laughs>